Godzilla Raids Again is the antithesis of its predecessor. Whereas Gojira was made from the heart, Raids Again is a cash grab, a shoddily put together sequel rushed out a mere six months after Gojira hit theaters in an attempt to capitalize on its success. While Gojira was a meticulously crafted thriller acting as a cautionary tale, Raids Again is just another monster movie, though that is not to say that it doesn't have some merit. <laughs> Taking place shortly after Godzilla was killed by the Oxygen Destroyer, Raids Again follows pilots Shoichi Sukiyoka and Koji Kobayashi as the two accidentally stumble upon a second Godzilla, this time locked in battle with another unknown monster. To deal with the appearance of these rival beasts, Japan has to scramble up a plan to keep them from bringing their battle to the country. Godzilla Raids Again is noteworthy for many reasons, most of all for establishing the structure that would eventually define the majority of both the Godzilla franchise and kaiju films in general. It features Godzilla's first ever foe, Anguirus, an ankylosaurus type creature that would go on to become an ally to the King of the Monsters. The two duke it out in the middle of a city, this time Osaka, and of course, Godzilla wins, lighting poor Anguirus aflame with his atomic breath. Unfortunately, the battle is very underwhelming. In fact, all of the monster action in this movie is underwhelming. No attempt is made to add any sense of scale or weight to the creatures, and so when Godzilla and Anguirus fight, it looks incredibly cheap. The two basically flop around, biting and snarling at each other awkwardly. This is no doubt a result of the rushed production. With Ashiro Hana unavailable, Toho called in director for hire Motoyoshi Oda, and the direction is as bland as you'd expect. The film has a very languid pace, despite making no attempts to build any tension. Godzilla and Anguirus just sort of appear, and from that point pop in and out of the film without any sense of real narrative purpose. Now maybe if the human characters were more interesting, they would make up for the uninspired monster action, but they are as bland and bare bones as you can get. They aren't terrible, and they don't annoy, but they also make no lasting impression. You'd be hard pressed to remember any of their names. The most memorable character by far is played by Hiroshi Koizumi, mostly because of his familiarity within the Godzilla franchise. Koizumi would go on to act in a bunch of other Godzilla movies, most notable being Mothra vs. Godzilla. Takashi Shimura returns briefly to reprise his role as Dr. Yamani, but he exists only to recap the prior movie. Still, as pedestrian as Godzilla Raids Again is as a whole, it does shine in some spots. Ijai Tsuburaya's special effects work is still impressive relative to its time, and Anguirus was and still is a great member of Godzilla's pantheon. The film also introduces an interesting idea that Godzilla is drawn to light, and so the military devises a genuinely creative plan to divert Godzilla's attention away from the city. It of course fails thanks to the efforts of a few bumbling convicts, but points for trying. Godzilla Raids Again is not a very good entry in the franchise, mostly for being so inoffensive. Even at a paltry 80 minutes long, it is quite a slog to get through. The movie just isn't as exciting as it should be. It's a very flat, lifeless movie. Things just happen without any sense of genuine dramatic stakes. Godzilla's return should be better than this, and so as a sequel, it just doesn't cut it. For more reviews and opinions on all things Godzilla, subscribe and stay tuned to Up From The Depths.